Hello my dear friends, in this occasion I will show you a program that if you're a music teacher, it will help you with your students, it's called Tonera. This one is a, a screen that appears when you cl click in, when you're a teacher or also when you're a student. This tutorial is for both, it's for a, a student and also for a teacher. Well, it's great for the students because they can have their homework and practice every day and it's great because it's always connected with your teacher so if you're a student I will click right now where it says sample student and you see the assignments you have two assignments already there so the sample assignment and the other one that say Moonlight Sonata is the one that I upload for my student so I will click on the one that I uploaded and this is for both for the student and the teacher this is how it works over here I put that I would like my student to practice five days for 10 minutes per day and I record just the part that I want my student to practice and in order for you to hear it you have to click it when it's the the square, the yellow square okay and you can hear it and you have to try to match it how it sounds like in order for you to start reading because uh, this one is a theory actually class that I'm giving you click on the purple square and it will come up uh, either the picture in this case I took a picture of it and I just uh, uploaded it. and you can see the tab over there and you can start reading okay that's the piece that's exactly the piece that it is on the recorder and if you're a student if you wanted to upload it there is underneath you're gonna see some letters I mean some numbers actually and one letter but next to it there's a arrow pointing down with a line underneath so just click it there and it will start downloading and it says successfully downloaded so now you have it in your phone or in your computer but I'm pretty sure that it's in your phone so you can actually um, send it to your email and you can print it out if you don't want to just read it from the from the app but you can actually uh, make it big so clearly you can read them when you practice your 10 minutes each day the circle it will turn on red the circles that are on the top, they, you see that it's 2, 4, and 5 because that represent the 5 days so you actually have to record yourself and send it to your teacher in order your teacher knows if you're doing good, bad so your teacher actually can help you and you can communicate with your teacher as well the way that you communicate with your teacher is uh, where it's a message and you can start um, texting your teacher, asking questions. If you have any trouble with the app or with the homework. I'll click it on the sample assignment. And in this one is required practice three days for five minutes a day, which means the circles, that's why it's three. And the same thing, you click on the yellow uh, square And that's the recorder that that you want to match with it so the image you have the notes so let me click on the purple one the purple square and it come up like like this and the same thing 
underneath is a compare image next to it on on the right side you're gonna see the arrow pointing down with the line you click it there and it would download the, the piece on the app you will see that it says lesson as statistics and media on the S statistics it will tell you how much days you've been practicing and the average time that you that your student usually practice or if you're the student how many times you usually practice the points that you're gonna get for it and the level but this one the app actually help you uh, to place your student as a new we medium or advanced depends uh, depends on how well or how well he's doing then on the media, well, right now I don't have anything on the sample student. On the media, uh, it will show what your student have recorded. It means the practicing. If you're the teacher, you can give your student extra points for an extra assignment, or if you think that he's doing well or she's doing well, so you can give them extra points for it, which is it's really good because you encourage your student to keep practicing more. This is one of the of the lessons for one of my students and he practiced just one time for the 10 minutes so that's why it appeared pink with a check mark because he practiced already one one of those five days that I need him to practice. And underneath you can see that I put a note for him so it's easy um, to tell him what I actually expect from it. This is a quick example for one of my students. Uh, he sent me his practice. So I can hear how he's doing. And over here you see some letters that it say C, B, C, B and underneath it say fluency, pitch, rhythm and tempo. This one, the app helped the teacher to place the student in those grades. Like right now it tells me that the fluency is C, pitch is B, the rhythm he have a C on it and the tempo is B. Which is really helpful for you to give a feedback to your student and the student I'm pretty sure they can see as well how well or how well it is doing and you see that you can type a message there so you can tell your student oh you're doing good you're doing bad I need you to do this or that and the student can reply you as well if you're the teacher and you want to upload a lesson or add your student you can click on the plus sign with a uh, blue circle and you can either add the student, create the student group or add an assignment. Uh, in this case I will uh, add an assignment. So over here you can actually set the assignment and it asks you which type of assignment is. It is uh, you're just practicing your piece, you're practicing the theory technique, your training, and so on. So right now, I'm just going to put theory. And then um, if you're pulling it out from a book, from a composer, you can uh, add those additional information there. It's not necessary, but uh, you can definitely add it. You can uh, put also which level it is. And the time goal, which is on um, how many days you want you know like to for them to practice how many time practice so let's put uh, in this case let's put uh, just four days and or well, let's put 20 minutes per day press done and just over here you want to tell the student how much points for uh, for each assignment so let's put a hundred points With the title of it, it can be the, the music piece or just notes. I will just gonna put notes. And 
and then you just put you can add uh, in the plus sign you can actually upload the recording with the yellow um, the yellow uh, circle so you just uh, click there and you can create a new recording well we have one already over here so I'm gonna utilize that one just for the sample so I click there okay uh, we can actually and we have a uh, well voice memo if you want to say I mean like speaking instead of writing you can definitely do it you can attach uh, the piece of the music the music sheet you can definitely do that or you can send a link if you're pulling it out the uh, music from a certain website so it will be helpful for your student so you click the attachment and it will show up like this so you can just pull it out from wherever you have the the piece of music and it will upload it for you and then uh, you just save it and that's all and you create and you have one already and then you just have to send it to your student which is uh, pretty easy actually uh, you just send it to and it will show up the students over here and you just click one of the students and it will add it up to to him or her I hope this is useful and if you have any question please comment below if you want more information about the app just let me know and comment below as well and I'll be glad to make a second video uh, going more in detail about this program because you have a a lot of tools that is really really helpful for the student and the teacher which is pretty cool well don't forget to actually subscribe to my channel and also never forget positive mind and a smile always i see you in the next video